What would you do if you believed someone you love was falsely accused of a crime? Betty says this happened to her husband. He's now serving time in prison. Well, I was sure that the outcome would have been a positive one because we had so much evidence to offer. For some unknown reason, the barrister acting on my husband's behalf failed to produce any of the evidence that we provided. Everything the accuser said in court was taken as gospel. What has the impact of that been on you and your family? It's been absolutely devastating. I compare it to, I guess, a family bereavement. How has it changed your views on the criminal justice system? I question how a man can be convicted on just hearsay. The system is unjust due to the financial constraints that so many of us struggle with. My husband was lucky enough to receive legal aid for his appearance in court, but the service he was given did not meet the standard you would expect under the circumstances. I do believe if you were a paying customer, the service would have been a lot more thorough. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Betty got in touch with the Cardiff Innocence Project to see if they could help her husband's case. It gives me a little, little hope they're listening to me. Some clients like Betty say they're concerned that a proper defence is now only an option for the wealthy. Between 2010 and 2019, there was a 37% spending cut per person receiving legal aid. Law professionals are calling for the cuts to be reversed and an inquiry is currently ongoing. Lawyers are so busy and stretched as it is, not helped obviously by the pandemic, which has caused a huge backlog of cases. But even before that, due to legal aid cuts and increasing pressure, they've they just don't have a huge amount of time. We like to think that miscarriages of justice are rare, but I think due to the crisis in legal aid funding, um, that's not sort of allowing the defence to put forward a strong case, there's probably a risk that there are a lot of innocent people potentially in prison. The MOJ says it provides funding to investigate miscarriages of justice and also operates a compensation scheme for those found to have been wrongfully convicted and it says fewer than one in a hundred legal aid cases were rejected in the year to September 2020. But with the system under immense pressure, the concern for both the accused and the accusers is whether justice can be guaranteed.